everyone and welcome back to our channel. We have been living in our van for almost eight months full time now. It's been amazing. We've been on some pretty crazy adventures or so far we've seen really amazing parts of Australia that we never thought that we'd come across. We've had some really amazing highs and we've had a few lows with the breakdown and everything like that. But living in the van full time, we've definitely come across a few hacks and things like that that um, we kind of take for granted but when we start talking to other people about them you know they tell us what a great idea they think that that it is so today I thought I would show you our top hacks for living in a van full-time um, bonus points if you have a toddler in the van um, because a lot of our a couple of our um, hacks really come in handy for having kids on the road let's get into it okay so one of our best hacks and I think something that we underestimated is it does stem from having a toddler in the van but definitely does not limit it to people that just have kids in the van so baby wipes or like microfiber cloths so obviously we have baby wipes in the van because uh, nappies <laughs> but um, we also have these uh, microfiber cloths so we got these uh, when Flynn started eating solids so you know when he was like six months old um, and these have come in handy for so much more than we thought that they would. Um, obviously, they first started off as um, kind of just like cleaning up his mess. So we're not always having to use um, baby wipes, which um, aren't great for the environment. Um, so these just get chucked in the washing. But we use these for everything now. So um, we obviously have the ones... Um, one color for him for when he's eating, um, but we use them for cleaning the van, cleaning the floor, cleaning up spills, everything like that. They're so amazing. They're super small microfiber cloths and they just go in with the wash. So again, really, really um, easy and they come in handy. Like I said, they come in handy for so much. Washing down, showering. So um, another thing that we have used baby wipes or microfiber cloths for, when you don't have access to endless amounts of water and you do need to have a quick shower or um, just wash yourself down, microfiber cloths or baby wipes do come in handy. So definitely, definitely always have these. We always have these in the van um, and in our like hiking pack or um, yeah, day pack when we go on an adventure for the day. So really, really good idea. I think I've actually pointed this out before in one of our other videos, but um, I've spoken about our roof fans. So we have two, one in the front, one in the back, Max Air fans. So this one in the back is not only near Flynn's bed, but it's also above our bed. Um, and something that we didn't actually realize when we were installing them or, or anything like that is how much light they let in even at night. So um, especially when you're stealth camping um, or you know even on a full moon or something like that, um, light comes in them. They just have um, like a white plastic cover over the top. So surprisingly at night, and we're kind of people that like to sleep in the dark, the amount of light that comes in um, kind of surprised us. So I actually initially made this cover only thinking with Flynn in mind, but a few nights when it's been hot and we've wanted to sleep with the fan open, we've actually been really surprised with the amount of light that comes in and it's kind of affected Cam and my sleep as well as Flynn's. So I made this before we left. It is just a piece of block out material that I've sell sewed Velcro onto. Um, and then we've just super glued Velcro onto the actual edge of, and the trim of the fan. Literally, this just gets Velcroed up. And again, <laughs> it's been a lifesaver. It's white, um, but block out material. So it kind of like is seamlessly in the van. It's not like a big black piece of material on the roof. It kind of looks really nice, neat and tidy, but it does block out the light. So, which is the main thing. The other good thing is, is that we can actually have the fan open, um, still get air in, but still have the cover up. So we're able to kind of get the best of both worlds in that regards. So a block out covers for your fans. Another hack, I guess, in the kitchen area um, and something that Cam actually did I think as kind of almost an afterthought because you know we didn't like the idea of wasting things that we had um, or wasting material that we had available to us. When Cam cut, cut the bench top out um, to put the sink in, this is the piece of wood that kind of came out of there. So this literally he 
molded so it fits into the sink. Obviously in a tiny space, any extra bench space is very, very, very uh, valuable. So this has been amazing and just gives us, like I said, that extra bench space. But not only that, uh, if we do want to leave some dirty dishes in the sink or something like that, we can just pop them in, pop the lid on and you know, it doesn't make you feel like you're living in a mess messy environment. Um, so this has been amazing and really anyone that is, you know, cutting out a sink is going to have this kind of option available to them. So definitely something that we would recommend. Another thing in the kitchen um, that we've found to be amazing. So when I bought our kitchen sink, um, I actually bought it from Ikea. And when I was in the shop, I realized that they actually had a dish rack which fits perfectly in the sink. And I was kind of on the spot and I just thought, I'll just get it and it's been amazing. Um, we are the kind of people that kind of like wash up and then like to tidy everything away. Having this, having the dish rack means that we don't have to have kind of pots and pans lying on tea towels on our countertops and it all kind of looks really tidy. So this is the dish rack that I got from Ikea. It kind of all came with everything, but like I said, it's been amazing. Um, as you can see, it all kind of comes in one. There's a couple of really good things about it. One is that the actual dish rack fits perfectly in the sink like that and it means that we can still put the cover uh, the wooden cover over the sink when we're driving so that's so been really 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 handy um, the other thing is it comes with a cutlery kind of thing like holder um, but also a drip tray so again this has been so good it all fits so neatly together but without even realizing it, we actually kind of already built a space underneath the sink and this slots perfectly in. So we literally do our dishes, put them in the, in the dish rack with the drip tray underneath and we literally just slide it under our counter. And then we're good to go and we can drive like that straight away. So again, no drying, which is awesome, um, but it enables you to kind of pack everything away really quickly. It's all neat and tidy, all fits perfect, perfectly. And yeah, we've loved it. It's been so good um, having it in the van. Something else that we get asked all the time about, and, and again, have been absolutely amazing since we've been on the road, especially since we've been in warmer climates, um, are these fly screens. Um, every time I put a photo online, I get asked where we got them from, how much they were, everything like that, and how they fit on the van. These fly screens we bought from Bunnings Warehouse. They were $30, I think, from memory. Um, they have they come with Velcro all on the top, all down the sides, and then these magnetic strips in the middle. So it just magnets down the middle like this. These are amazing. This one on the side door, we did not have to trim. We did not have to alter in any way. Um, we literally unpacked it. We got the largest size available um, and it fits perfectly to our sliding door. Um, and it just means that when we're pulled up somewhere, we can have the sliding door open, um, you know, and not have to worry about mozzies or anything like that coming in at night. Um, it's, been, it's been really, really amazing. We also installed one on the back doors of the van. Um, and again, that's been amazing. We do take the one on the back doors down at night because we find that our doona and our pillows kind of pull on it and we don't want to kind of like pull on the Velcro any more than we need to. Um, but like I said, this one on the side door stays up all the time um, and the back one we just pull down at night, but it's really easy. Literally just unvelcros um, and goes on and off really easily. So the other thing that we've come across just lately is phone mounts. Um, and it's something that we hadn't really considered before. We kind of thought that we would have, um, you know, somewhere to put our phones, maybe like on our little junk shelf or like near the fruit basket or something like that. But we kind of haven't really found anywhere that kind of really works. So recently we got these phone mounts, the quad lock phone mounts that connect with our um, phone cases. So this one we mounted here and it has been amazing. We um, have it right next to our 12 volt USB charger. So it means that we can easily plug our um, phone charger in and we kind of like hook our phone up here. I can't show you that right now cause I'm on my phone, <laughs> but then we just plug it in. And it means that first of all, when we're driving or anything like that, 
the phone's back here on charge, it just can stay here and we don't have to worry about it flying off one of the countertops. But it also has been really great if we want to just like watch a, like put a cartoon or something like that on for Flynn, um, we can just mount it here and he can't take it off <laughs> and he doesn't end up walking around and breaking our phones. So that's been another um, really amazing kind of hack is just actually having somewhere to put your phones that's close to where you get charged and everything like that. And again, this was a bit of an afterthought for us in the van. Um, and this just comes with like a 3M kind of like sticker on the back. So you just literally just like stick it on wherever you want. Again, amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you were able to pick up a few hacks that maybe you can uh, put in your van or install into your life on the road. We really hope that you've enjoyed the video so far. As always, we really appreciate your support. So a big thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. We're definitely trying to be releasing more videos as we go on the road and yeah just teaching everyone about what we've learned so far so i will see you soon